What is the energy for Gemini and love? There we go. Ooh, you still have fire in your belly for someone, Gemini. You are willing to do the work. You are waiting. You haven't heard from this person for a while. You're sort of the lookout at the lookout tower of your life, your love life. That's a lot of passion. Ooh, look at this. The energy right now is a sun card. You are feeling good. You feel as though life is changing. It's breaking open for you. The ray of sun is coming in. Leo energy, Sagittarius energy. Gorgeous, nice. You feel as though you're ready for the day at the beach. That's how you're feeling, very optimistic. You view the situation that you've been in recently as one of heartbreak. It looks like the sun is shining after a period of time of heartbreak. You might have been in a third party situation romantically or you may have, um, you might be healing from that situation, but right now you are feeling very good, Gemini. How the world is viewing you is moving forward after a difficult time. How you feel inside is that, you know, you're juggling a lot right now. You might be juggling money, but it does look like for many of you, you're juggling a creative project because the sun is a fifth house of creative um, children of the mind and body, as well as just pure happiness. But you are feeling good. The justice card, Libra energy, you're staying balanced at all costs you are you are really doing something that i don't think you thought you could do in the past that that 3 of swords tells us that you know that you're still healing you know that you're still mending you know that you're moving forward you know you have options also i like that the nine of cups energy beautiful speaks very much it actually came out reversed um it, this it's kind of a funny card okay so it came out reverse but it really doesn't impact the meaning it just means that you're ready to party hearty have fun thoughts you know your your um eat drink be merry but it hasn't happened yet <laughs> you're really ready to burst out you want to go to on a vacation or go somewhere where it's sunny all right, what is the advice of spirit at this time for you? You are at a crossroads. You are being advised by spirit to make a choice. Choose happiness. This is the past. This is a, the two of wands card. This is the past. And we have the person is looking at the globe, looking into the future. It's very bright up here. There's a VW bus with a surfboard next to it. Spirit is saying, go out, make plans to go out and enjoy yourself. And in so doing, you'll help find your balance. It'll help you mend your broken heart. The feelings that you have that um, you still feel you can't really get over past, they're still there. The Ace of Swords, the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. You are really, you've done a lot of work, Gemini. That is gorgeous. So let's take a look and see what the clarifiers are here for you. All right, so tell us what Gemini is observing about their love life at this present time. What is Gemini? What are the clarifiers? Why is the Nine of Wands here? Well, look at this. You're feeling very good about being single. You feel it's Nine energy. You feel as though you're working hard. You're on the lookout. You know you know what you want, but you, you know, you're taking good care of you. At the end of the day, while you're hoping that somebody comes into the picture, you're also getting settled back into a level of happiness that you haven't had in a long time. I feel as though many of you went through a breakup it could have been a year, year and a half. It could have been, you know, um, when we look at the death card, I look at timing that you may have gone through, you know, dark night of the soul for, you know, 13 months, 13 weeks. But right now you are rebirthing Scorpio energy. Look at that. The sun is here. The rebirth is happening. Uh, it's happening. If you, <laughs> if you look at this card, the sun is there and it's giving a rebirth. And here we have it with the sun card. So the sun is coming out. What is that? Here, the sunshine. There's so many songs about sunshine. What is the three? Why is the three of swords here? Tower card. Something that shocked you. Something. Some adventure that you went on ended up having a really bad outcome. 
it does look like you were you might have known somebody was getting a divorce or you thought they were getting a divorce and it looks like we have leo energy it speaks very much to the fact that you felt stabbed in the back you thought it was supposed to be a fun adventure and it got really painful so what started out as being what you thought would be maybe just frivolous fun, you know, going off on the surfboard, going out, having fun, you found that right now you're very protective of your heart. Okay, what else do we need to know? The person you were dealing with was a lightweight. They were immature. There may have been children involved in the situation. And look at that. You're on guard. You're just really self-protective right now. It's okay. It's appropriate. It's bringing back your happiness. It's allowing you to find your mojo again after being feeling really dispirited. Look at this. A whole clump of cards just flipped in my hand. So look at this. Six of Swords is clarified by healing, moving away from a broken heart, finding your balance, finding temperance. Somebody wants to come back to you. I will tell you that. Somebody that um, you broke up with wants to come back. They will make a significant offer to you. Here they come. We have Knight of Want Cups energy. So when we look at the Strength card, we have this Leo energy here. You are staying strong. Nothing is going to derail you. You are, you are able. You have the infinity symbol here. Wisdom from some of your heritage, some people that have crossed over that love you are really standing behind you. We have the Emperor card clarifying the Nine of Cups reversed. You are playing it cool. That's what I'm seeing. You're really, you're very much in your power. This is Aries energy. You know, this person wants to come back and they're a knight, but you have this emperor energy. You'll make the right decision. It does look like you will impose, you'll set some limitations on the situation. Why is the three of swords here next to the eight of swords specifically? Balance. Look at that. Balance here. Balance there. Strength. Beautiful. So something that overwhelmed you before. I believe you didn't want to see this person. And I believe that you ignored them and you pushed them away. And you, you kept your guard up and you didn't let them in. So why is the emperor? What is the emperor? Um, that is you, Gemini. But the emperor, yeah, the reason you feel like you had to protect yourself is that you feel as though this person came in and stole your heart. You feel as though they stole your heart. You feel as though they did it with less than honorable intentions. You feel a little bit tricked. Okay, why is the two of wands here? Why is the two of wands here? The devil card, you're on the lookout for the devil. You're underwater with that idea. The Ace of Cups and the Eight of Wands. This person, your person did fall in love with you, but they brought toxic energy into the situation. The toxicity is seen when we look at the Three of Swords, the Seven of Swords, the Three of Swords, the Tower card, the Ten of Swords. You know, there's a lot that went on. The Six of Swords, the fact that you had to pick yourself up, self up off the pavement, the Three of Swords. This person was kind of strategic with you, I will say that. I mean, I... I don't think that they were trying to be evil. I don't I really don't think so. But I think that they found you so compelling that they wanted you and um, you know, they would stretch the truth or outright lie to you to get your attention and that left you feeling very disillusioned, very disillusioned. You feel like you were duped, fooled. And you're not easy to fool, Gemini. You really aren't. And they really didn't fool you, but, you know, at the end of the day, you took that, You, I think you took a leap of faith with the sun card. It was so good. You didn't see the end coming. Here we go. Ace of Swords. A reunion, a reunion. Five of Wands. This could be with a Leo for a lot of you. You're not so interested. You're not in a big rush to do this. Ooh, look at you. Stand in your power. Look at 
at you, the Aries queen. Oh, heavens, look at you. Yeah, you've you've had time to heal. This, you know, whatever's gone on in your life, you know, you're kind of bored being alone. You want to get back out there. This person's going to try to come in, and you're going to really keep them sort of at bay. You're not going to let them too close. You're going to give them competition. So in other words, the way that would happen is somebody says, I really need to come to your house and discuss my feelings with you. And you say, oh, okay. And you don't tell them that, you know, you have a relative in the other room or you have a friend visiting so that it upsets the apple cart. This person doesn't really get to manipulate or have their way with you or have in and out energy with you. So I like that. So let's now look and see what the clarifiers are for the person that is wanting you. Let's see here. This person who wants you, what are the clarifiers they have? Actually, I'm going to get a different deck. How your person feels about you in the recent past. How your person feels about you in the recent past, Gemini. Oh, four of four of spears. Four of spears. The person felt like they wanted to marry you. That's so beautiful. That's like a big bridal bouquet. Very gorgeous energy. The Seven of Pentacles, they wanted to invest in the relationship. They want to now. They definitely want to now. Why did this person, what was this broken heart about? What was all that about? The Hermit card. Oh my goodness. The Hermit here, the Hermit there. This person is a loner. This person felt like they had gone through their whole life without really having anyone who understood them. Why do we get the tower card? The knight. The knight of swords. The truth was revealed to this person that you were a person with whom they could really be themselves. That they didn't have to be alone. That they could speak their heart to you. This person told you so much about themselves. This is a surprising reading. The emperor, they have emperor energy. This person has a capability of being an emperor. They're bringing emperor energy in. Look at the emperor energy here. The emperor looks like he's ready to do anything though with a big chess piece. Okay, so we're gonna clarify. All right, so this person is, we have the four, wow. wow. Again, now we have the Eight of Wands. This person feels very passionate towards you. Very, very passionate. They want to make love to you, but they want it to be... Look at the beautiful birds here. They want to wake up with you in the morning. They want to make love to exhaustion. They want to cuddle with you. They want to wake up to the birds chirping in the morning outside the window. Whoa! Oh, Gemini. Gemini. This person really came ripping through your life like a tidal wave. And you felt that they were being cruel at the time, but they weren't. They weren't. Oh, look at this. This person, this person, Gemini, may have been orphaned. We're looking at this little kitty here, right? This little bitty kitty. And underneath the kitty, the kitty is actually, as a child, is protecting what looks to be like um, an adult. It's such an, it's such, this is called the hush tarot. It's like the secret tarot. And it shows that this kitty had to raise themselves. 
that they were very alone in life and though they had people around them they were the ones who had to protect the other people it was like a switch in roles I, I don't I had this inclination to put this here so I'm going to even though I was trying to do this Gemini it's almost like when the parent doesn't do the job the child has to step in oh this is fascinating I have not had a reading like this I, this is really interesting. Okay. So Gemini, Gemini, you are dealing with somebody who never had their foundation was ripped out when they were maybe very young. Three years of age, maybe. This is not the reading. Not every aspect is for everybody here. I'm telling you a specific story. But somebody, somewhere out there who's watching this is going to hear a message that's going to resonate. The general energy of what I'm talking about resonates for, I think, your person. If it's your person, it will resonate. But when we're looking at how you experience them versus their intention, it's like day and night. This person never wanted to hurt you. They just didn't. Okay, why do we have the Six of Swords of you moving away from a broken heart? What is this person feeling? Ah, the King of Pentacles. They're coming in with a significant offer. You know, here you're thinking that they're going to be more of a just, oh, they'll come in with a romantic offer and yeah, maybe I'll accept it, maybe I won't, but they're coming as the King of Pentacles. That's Taurus energy. The Two of Wands. They're looking at their future too. Look at, this is a two of wands. They see you as their future. This person just doesn't know how to do this. Like they have it in their soul. They have it in their heart to do this thing. To move the relationship forward. To make a substantial offer. The communication, their communication is what they don't understand. They don't know how to communicate. The death card, that's what I thought. Oh my gosh, the death card speaks to the fact that this person grew up. We have Knight of Wands energy. Now, what's so interesting is that I don't think this is player energy. I feel as though to take care of themselves that they were like they had to run around and like almost like do everything for themselves. This person was abandoned, orphaned. There is something that went on in their life that made them very much a survivor. Very much a survivor. We have the Ten of Pentacles. This person has built wealth for themselves. They've built their own security. This is almost like a child who raises themselves. Strength card. We had strength card here. This person's very strong. Gemini the ace of wands they want a new passionate beginning with you this deck is so beautiful you see it too and they're coming around with flowers and sweetness this person doesn't really have a cruel bone in their body life was cruel to them but they don't mean to be cruel it looks like as a child they might have looked at families having fun like through a window or a looking glass. Oh my God, I feel like I'm going to cry. The outside looking in. It made them want love. It made them not know how to give it. Or not know how to express it. They knew how to give it. We have the Eight of Swords. They've kept very quiet about so much of what happened to them. The Seven of Swords. Look at this. All the keys to their future. All the keys to their future were taken from them. Like a bird flew away with it and then they had to go out and find them. They had to learn how to do everything on their own. Wow. This is like a movie. The Hierophant. This person treasures traditional life. They treasure marriage. They treasure family. They treasure children. This person's a very good parent. 
the Empress. Look at this Empress energy. They see you as their Empress. They see you as their happiness. They see you as a person who is strong like them. Oh, Gemini. What you don't know. The Nine of Swords. This person has missed you. They, I think they hurt you very badly and you didn't really understand it. And I don't think that they understood why you felt so hurt. I feel like it was a miscommunication. I feel like this person is coming back around. Let's see. How are you going to feel when they talk to you at a deeper soul level? The Magician card. Gemini, you might be dealing with a Virgo. Somebody with Virgo in their chart. You may have Virgo and Gemini both in your chart. Well, we do think you do because if you're not a cross watcher, you have Gemini. And this is Gemini video. Look at this. Two of Pentacles. And the Six of Swords. They want to move away from trouble. Look at that. The Knight of Pentacles moving slowly. Look at the kitty here. Oh my God, look at this. We have the Two of Swords. You're not being able to see what the truth is. Look at this. But the truth is, is that this person's really sweet. Look at this. The Two of Swords. Birds here. Where you perceived them as causing you trouble, they were, they just didn't see what they didn't see. They just didn't see what they didn't see. The Moon card. The Raven is here. The Raven is here with the light to illuminate. The Raven the raven created the sunlight and is ready to hear to come in and illuminate this this is a story like no other i've never done a reading i've been doing this for years decades i've never had a reading like this judgment card and the card came out upside down do make it don't make a judgment do not judge this person Normally, it's good to judge people because it tells you what the truth is, but this person is the exception to the rule. Spirit, okay, let's look at the bottom of the deck and see what the, yep, here it is. Look at this. Nine of Pentacles, this person has always been on their own, whether they were married, whether they were single. This person has always been totally responsible for themselves as well as for other people. They are victorious. They feel good about their life. They should. We have the King of Wands coming in here. A lot of Leo energy here. We get the Ace of Pentacles. They're going to make an offer. They know that you're healing. They know that they hurt you. They want to go to the next level with you. We have the Seven of Cups. They don't know if you'll take them back. And the Queen of Swords. They fear that you may chop them out of your life. The Four of Cups. That's the universe making an offer, Gemini. Eight of Pentacles. Both of you have a lot to learn about each other. Six of Cups, a reunion. Beautiful. Ace of Cups, new love again. This is just keeps going on. Beautiful. Nine of, Knight of Cups, Knight of Cups. This person's going to come in romantically. I am stunned. That is a reading like no other. I'm going to say, see, see what the oracle cards have here. Have faith. Trust your faith in this situation. There you go, Gemini. Wow. All right. All right. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. This is a beautiful reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Bye-bye.